Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. I have a pocket letter to share with you guys. And um, I hope it's not too noisy. Um, I hear my gardener. I think it's my gardener. But um, anyway, um, sorry for the mess on my desk here, but let me just um, get down to it. The, my pocket letter is for Ophelia, and we had agreed a while back to do a... Uh, summer themed pocket letter. It actually started out, we were supposed to do a July uh, 4th pocket letter and I was going to kind of do a sea theme. So I had, you know, gathered some supplies. But anyway, we missed July 4th. We were both too busy. So anyway, we decided to do, to just make it a, a summer themed pocket letter. So I was looking through all my papers because I really didn't want to have to get new paper. Um, and I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do. So I ended up using this Webster's Pages. Um, and this one is a collection triple pack, as you can see there. Um, it, it, I love cer this certain paper in love paper. And I'm not even going to show you guys that, but that's kind of more like um, wedding themed. But it came with three collections. And... I only got a few of the, the papers, you know, it wasn't the whole collection, but um, one of them is called Palm Beach. And so um, I'm going to show you guys that one because that's the one I used. Um, I didn't get the whole collection, but it's basically, let me see if I can find, I'm just going to show you guys the papers that I used um, because I like the way this came out that I think I'm probably going to do another pocket letter. I might just decide to just duplicate it because um, I know some of you guys do that and um, you know maybe it'll be a little bit faster <laughs> but anyway this is one of the papers that I use and it has the umbrellas on it and in the back it has flamingos. Really pretty and I've been kind of hoarding this paper. I don't know why but um, I have been um, I also use, let's see if I can find it, this one right here, and this one says summer, and I love this um, pretty blue stripe, and then it has um, some palm trees, and look at this, how cute is that, the, the little um, turtles. So I use that as well. The back looks like that because they're double-sided. And I was going to use another one, but then, um, I don't know, just got too busy and I decided not to. So uh, let me see. Now I did use another paper pad, just that uh, one that's completely different from that paper pad and it's not even sea themed or beach themed but um I liked this one particular paper in it and that is called my mind's eye um, chalk studio and I basically just used this striped one except I turned it um to be horizontal stripes and let me see if I can show you guys and I love this paper too um, I just haven't had a chance to play with it since I just I've accumulated so much paper since. Um, I don't know. Just you guys know me. I've been shopping and now I can't even find that paper. Maybe I've already used it up. No, that's not it. This one. See how pretty that is? It's that one, and then it's double-sided too, and it has that as the reverse, but I didn't really use that. So for this pocket letter, I decided I'm going to, um, I wanted to do tags so that she can use it. Oh, one more thing. Let me just share with you another thing that I used, which is part of this um, sea-themed sea pack that I got from Michaels. They are, oops, they're note cards. And I've seen you ladies use, you know, like note cards for um, your pocket letters. And I thought, you know, it's a summer themed one. And it has, um, they're all the same, but they basically have seashells and palm trees. And I thought, oh, that's great. And um, so I wanted to use um, 
th that as well. So let me just show you guys. And then I used this Recollections um, paper that I had gotten because they had a sale on their open stock papers. And um, I don't even know what this particular one is called, but they're like the signature papers, the specialty papers that they have. And this one's a like glitter cardstock. And it came in this pretty, pretty sea blue. I don't even know what what color exactly that is but this is all I have left on that paper so I loved it so anyway here's my bio letter so let me just go through it one by one so here what I did was I decided to um let me see I don't have anything under there I decided to take the cardstock I I cut it um in the size the two and a half by three and a half um, this particular one here, I rounded the corners just on the top, I think. Oh no, top and bottom. So I rounded the corners using my half inch corner punch. And then, um, and that's just my background. Then for each paper, each, um, pocket, I created some tags. So that way she can pull it out and she can use it if she wants. And once she uses it and she takes it out, you know, she can still make it a, a pocket letter using the glitter. So I thought that was, you know, um, you know, she gets like two for one. I mean, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, these are clothes pins that I got from Michael's when I had gone shopping with um, Sophia. And I just uh, stickled it a little bit because you guys know I love my stickles. And I believe I used my Starburst one, which is my all-time favorite oh stardust and I always say starburst but the, it's stardust stickle this is like my go-to one and I I just you know use that on the side and this is a flower that I had gotten from Prima out the Prima outlet I believe and I've been forever hoarding this just waiting for a project and I thought it looked very uh Hawaiian looking you know I don't even know what kind of flower it is I don't think that's a plumeria but you know it looked like an island flower but I think it's called um the Corinne pack um here let me show you guys this one right here and it comes with um different ones too oh that's the purple one obviously I used all the blues so I put one there and so here see I just basically cut tags and then I distressed the sides with um, the Broken China Distress ink pad by Ranger. Um, all of them are distressed um, with that one and then this one here I distressed with Vintage Photo. But all the tags have twine in it and I basically just used the twine from my stash and I think that's the one from Target, the Target bin. You know, I have a bunch of these. Um, and then these are uh, charms that I had gotten from Michaels and they're the flip flops and the ice cream cone. Isn't that cute? And then here it says summer. And I'll just pull it out, you guys. I'll just pull it out. See? So it's basically, I just left it. I didn't adhere it just so that she can use it. You know, it's a little more versatile. And I basically just put charms. So each pocket um, basically has some charms that she can reuse. And the back, I just left it alone. And she can use the tags, you know, for uh, gift giving or if she decides to do swaps. Um, she can use that and I thought it was really cute um, here on the bottom I wanted to create some waves and so I used my Fiskars punch here that I had gotten a long time ago I think I got this at Tuesday morning you guys and um, you know I scored one time when I went and they had a bunch of different um, border dies I mean border uh, punches so this is the one I got and I have not used it so I think this is the first time I'm actually using this so um, again I used the recollections paper and I just made you know this is like a whole strip here that I created down here and then um, for this one here I used the umbrella one um, the Webster's Pages one with umbrellas and then here I had um, found this charm that came with this pack um, and it's an umbrella it's an umbrella with a beach chair and I thought that was really cute 
See, so my tags are very simple. Um, they just, it's all about charms in this one. <laughs> um, here I stamped it with um, one of the wooden stamps from Michael's, which is this one right here. You know, the ones from their dollar or two dollar bins. And then I stamped it with um, one of my chalk, mark, uh, chalk pads, ink pads which is this one right here by color box and it's a really pretty pretty blue i don't even know what this is called um swimming pool this one's called swimming pool and then i this is another um charm that i got from michael's which is a beach a ball and then here it's it's really cute this is i did a haul video on this and this is from the bookstore from barnes and noble and they're the flip-flops uh, magnetic uh i guess they're like page um bookmarkers i guess uh so anyway and then here's another seahorse um clothespin from michael's and that's it for that top part and then here i made another tag and this is from that notes card that i got from michael's um and it has it's really busy so i didn't do much with it i didn't do anything um and then i just hung this um charm and it's a, a little crab i thought it was really cute here on the side since i'm showing you guys the side i strung this um rope uh which i got from michael's from the dollar 50 bins and that looks like this and it's really thick so originally i was going to use this one for um for you know to hold the tags or to string um, you know for the tags but I it was too thick it's really thick so I decided to just kind of loop it twice and here I used twine too to keep it kind of together because I wanted it to stay together I adhered this underneath here to cover that little um, ultra pro uh, um, what do you call it logo there so um, I just used some red line tape to do that and then I just made a bow here see, and it looks like that okay so here is my shaker card you know I like to put my shakers in the middle um, and I use the greeting form stamp and she's a mermaid now she's covered right now so I can't even show you guys exactly how she looks like let me see so you see her tail there and let me just show you the original um, image it looks like this and I believe she's called Marie mermaid and this was a, a freebie, I think it was a freebie digital image that the greeting form sent me, that they emailed me, and I thought it was super cute. I had one mermaid stamp already from them, and um, so I got this one. Um, so I thought that was really, really nice. And I like her tail here. So um, it was kind of tricky because I couldn't stamp this glitter paper from Michaels and again that's from the open stock paper and that one looks like this and I chose this one Genevieve helped me choose this one because it has bigger um, bigger glitter pieces and it kind of looks like scales as you can see here see that um, so I thought that was perfect for her tail but I couldn't stamp on it so I ended up just kind of making a template you know just kind of stamping this out cutting the tail out and then just making a template and then just cutting it freehand uh fussy cutting it um okay so then i just stickled i used copic markers to color her up her brown hair and um some you know, I, I use my Copic markers. I used a couple of different shades there, a pink and a, uh, an orange tone. And I shaded her. I don't know if you guys can tell because she's inside, but she has some shading on her skin. And then I just put a bunch of beads, which pretty much covered her up <laughs> here. 
and this is actually a gift from Ophelia who is receiving this pocket letter um, and I've been forever trying to figure out what to do with this embellishment that she had gave me and this was I think something she had won at when we went to um, the expo and she won this and this was part of her package and uh, it's from Monami Gabby um, which is one of the um, sites that you guys I mean one of the booths that you guys have to go to I was trying to show you guys it's, but you they have an online store monamigabby.com and I've been yeah forever trying to figure out what to do with this and I thought it was appropriate because they kind of look like I don't know like a cross between coral well it's coral colored or it's kind of orangey glittery but it just looked like it was you know it needed to be part of a, a sea themed project um, so anyway kind of looks like um, like sea kelp or something but it's not because it's orange sea kelp is you know green but <laughs> I thought it looked cute so um, I added it to the sides here and I just adhered it with um, some Fabri-Tac so hopefully that stays on there. This is another stamp that I had gotten and I just basically Copic colored it um, and just made my own seashell. And that is with, that That looks like this one right here. And it has the sentiment by the sea, but I just cut that part. And then here I also used the, the starfish and I didn't get to use those, but um, so I put the starfish behind this thing here, whatever it's called, and then um, this one I put right on top. And it just adds to it, so I thought that was really cute. Now I got a little busy here, I thought it was a little too busy, but um, that's how it came out. Here, just very plain tag, and I put a turtle, because this is the, the paper that has, I don't know if you can see here, but they're little turtles. Let's see if I can just pull it out. See? And I thought that was really cute. And she can just use this tag again. And then um, here on the bottom, um, these were the buttons that I had gotten from Tuesday morning. Remember these, this pack here? So I had used one of the buttons here. And I can't find my, my uh, what is it called? A wire cutter. That's how I usually cut the shanks off this thing. So it's kind of just inside the the little hole here you know where you for the tags um i just kind of stuck it in there so it's not even adhered down so she can you know adhere it down if she wants to this is a shell here that i got from michael's and let me see if i have that that was on clearance and i had scored on that one because it's this one right here and it was a dollar 99 and here is the anchor that I got from Michael's dollar spot also, or dollar fifty spot. Um, this is the one, the ribbon that I got from Daiso, and I thought that was really cute. And then here, this is another um, metal embellishment that I got, and it's really heavy too, <laughs> which is a compass. And I thought it was perfect for this sea-themed um, beach summer themed pocket letter <laughs> I don't even know what to call it and then here's that stamp by the sea that came with um, the seashell stamp from Michaels and that's it you guys um, I think I shared everything so uh, in the back oh let me just share that with you guys so in the back I spritzed it again so that I didn't have to put some more paper because then it's gonna get too bulky so this glitter paper here I had spritzed it and I really liked the effect and let me see if the camera can pick that up so let me just tell you guys that when you get the glitter paper you know how sometimes there's glitter stuck in the back of it like see this is the glitter paper in the back you get some glitter too you know that you just can't really take off so I thought you know well I'm going to leave it alone, but I'm going to spritz it. So I spritzed it with my Lindy Stamp Gang Starburst, and this one is the Baby Blue Eyes Aqua. And then I wanted to use this one too, because this I've forever had this, 
and um, this is my moon shadow mist and this one is called let me see if there's a name for it hmm there is a name for it and I forgot I don't know where it is oh here land lubber green land lubber or luber green and um, it really came out really cool it has this really cool effect so it kind of looks like watermarks um, but it also created this like shell like appearance also I don't know can you guys see that um, and then you can see the little specks of glitter so I love the way this came out and I was kind of torn between putting this in the front or putting this in the front but because I used the tags I thought this one was better because this is a little busy here but see she can also use this for her pocket letter for the next time she makes one um, so yeah that's how the back looks like and I'm just gonna put goodies in the back um, for her so I'm not even gonna show you guys because it's not complete yet um, you know it's not fully fully complete so <laughs> um, so anyway that is my pocket letter for Ophelia so Ophelia if you watch this video uh, I hope you like it. Um, I might just add some more stuff to it. I don't know yet, but I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. In fact, I love it so much that I'm going to have to make another one um, kind of similar. So I really, really enjoyed making this. And it didn't take me too long. I think um, I've been working on it a little bit here and there. Um, but I would say just maybe a couple of days. Uh, you know, so anyway, hope you guys like my uh summer themed pocket letter okay i'll talk to you guys later bye